little chillier now, and we're going to continue to see that chill move in as we go through the overnight. Had a cold front go through, getting a little breezy out there. You can kind of watch these clouds. They're moving pretty quickly. They're going to start to dissipate as we go through the evening hours. Right now in Chocolate Town at 47 with still some clouds out there. Uh, but the winds are now starting to kick up northwest at 17 miles an hour. I think they'll be between 15, 20, 25 miles an hour most of the night tonight. So your forecast for the evening hours. Yeah, windy, chilly with skies starting to clear out. Temperatures from the 40s falling into the mid and upper 30s and then probably bottoming out in the low to mid 30s overnight tonight. I know that's not terribly cold. But with the wind, it's going to feel like the 20s when you get up tomorrow morning. Now, gradually those winds will subside, but they'll be kind of brisk through, I'd say about midday and then in the afternoon start to let up. Uh, plenty of sunshine, just a few high clouds. Looking at temperatures up near 50 degrees for tomorrow. Here's the system that moved on through. We had some rain last night. That has now moved up into New England. That's the first cold front. You can see temperatures behind it, though, are starting to get a little chillier. There's the first cold front. Wasn't all that cold behind it and still 50s. Detroit, or excuse me, Washington up to uh, New York City. We had that west-southwesterly flow of air behind the first one. But now we're getting that northwesterly flow. The second front came through. There were a few sprinkles around midday today. Still getting some flurries coming off the lakes and some snow showers up there. And you can see that chilly air. Again, nothing Arctic cold. This is just Canadian cold air that's going to continue to move into the Susquehanna Valley. So a fair amount of clouds out there right now. Temperatures pretty uniform in the 40s. We expect those clouds to start to diminish. Temperatures start to drop into the upper 30s as the clouds clear overnight. Tonight will drop into the low to mid 30s but it's the wind that'll make it feel even colder overnight tonight. Tomorrow we're up near 50 degrees and again the winds will subside in the afternoon. Just some high level clouds coming through. All in all, not a bad day for the extraordinary give. A little on the cool side near 50. And it looks like we cloud up on Saturday. Going to be a breezy day. In fact, by Saturday evening it comes rather windy. Rain moves in. May get a little bit in the morning. It looks like more though. And we'll have a better idea tomorrow to pinpoint if we have more coming in late in the day and at night. It moves out for Sunday. It looks like Sunday is going to be a blustery day. High on Sunday may actually come at midnight and temperatures may start falling through the day. A little bit of a chill for Monday. Tuesday we rebound, but then that brisk chill is back for Wednesday and for Thursday.